It's called policing for profit and opponents of police powers to seize and sell anything that was used in connection with a criminal enterprise got the U.S. Supreme Court to buy the argument. In a recent unanimous decision, the high court ruled that the Constitution limits the ability of states and local police to take and keep cash, cars, houses, and other private property from convicted criminals, particularly when it's used to enrich police departments. Well, some groups say they're not happy with the ruling because it takes away an important source of income. Eyewitness News Anna Vardiki reports from our Washington News. Far, like very. Jason Pye with Freedom Works says it happens all the time. Someone is charged with a crime and police confiscate cash, cars, houses, any property they believe was used in the crime. We call it policing for profit where law enforcement can go and take people's stuff. Pye says police sell the items and keep the money for the police department budget. And that's a huge problem because forfeiture is, I mean, forfeiture is theft for all intents and purposes. Recently, the Supreme Court unanimously ruled that the Constitution limits the ability of states and local police to take and keep private property from convicted criminals, particularly when it's used to enrich police departments. This is like a slush fund for police and sheriff's departments. David Smith, a civil asset forfeiture lawyer, says he sees more cases when local law enforcement agencies are on a tight budget. They've basically been told make up for it by uh, bringing more forfeiture cases. Smith says he's pleased with the ruling, but he thinks the court missed an opportunity to address where the legally seized money goes. They can use it pretty much for whatever they want, and there's almost no accountability. Law enforcement agencies say civil asset forfeiture is crucial. The National Sheriff's Association says this process not only brings life-saving equipment and resources to law enforcement, but also saves the American taxpayer money in the process. From the Washington Newsroom, Anna 